the gospel according to Mark, chapter 8, verses 34 to chapter 9, verse 1. Jesus said, Anyone who wants to save his life will lose it. Anyone who loses his life for my sake and for the sake of the gospel will save it. What gain then is it for anyone to win the whole world and forfeit his life? Anyone who saves, who loses his life will save it. Anyone who saves his life will lose it. What do we get? That paradox in sacred scripture. And Jesus concludes by saying, what does it benefit us if we have the whole world and our soul goes to ruin? It doesn't mean that we shouldn't enjoy the good things of the earth, that we shouldn't enjoy material things. But as I mentioned some time ago, we need to keep a balance. We enjoy the good things in this world, social life, intellectual life, as well as the spiritual. We enjoy the things in this world. We allow the things in this world to help us to look and cherish the future. And that's why Jesus said, what gain is it if we win the whole world? We win the whole world and our soul goes to ruin. So while we do good things on the face of the earth, we pause and we ponder on the, the life in the future. And we say, Lord, help us to always focus on that life thereafter. For we know that this life is just passing away. We are here today. And one day, we all have to move. Some go quicker than others. That is, doesn't matter. The idea is one day we have to go. So we turn to the Lord and say, Master, help us to enjoy the things of this world. For you have made them. You have created them. You want us to be happy. Help us to also focus on the greatest of all, eternal life. Amen.